my name's Victoria Townsend and it was Big Dad's Pies at the time when we rebranded to Brumby's Go now at, in Rockland Street and we were flooded on the 11th of January. Um, and we were here working, we'd had a very good day, we'd bought the business five weeks before the day of the flood so we were still getting to know all of our regular customers and things, it was really busy, it was an excellent day money wise and um, we were serving it was raining and um, the water just appeared from nowhere literally um, and it came from the drainage system that uh, that runs along the front of the shop and it also from the drainage system that runs along near the coffee club so that it actually met in the middle here and went both directions it went up the street and down the street I suppose and um, when the water started to come in we shut the doors my husband was here and he moved, was moving cars with other people so my daughters were working with me it was school holidays and I make them work every school holidays so they were working with me and we shut the doors not thinking that it was going to get as high as it did um, so when the doors shut we couldn't reopen them because of the pressure from the water from the outside so we realised that we were stuck um, and my oldest daughter is as tall as me so she was able to help my little one and she would put her on a table and then as the water got a bit higher she'd move her up to the next table the water would get a bit higher so she'd move her up to the next table we ended up putting her on top of the fridges and we were trying to smash the glass at the top of the shop so we could climb out that way but it wouldn't break and my husband by this time had come back and was standing on the outside of the door and there were a couple of guys from where our outside as well and they were trying to smash the glass so we could get out and just wouldn't break but the pressure of the water actually blew the door off and it went flying through the shop so we could we could get out through there but the water was coming in so quickly I had to throw Johanna out to the one of the wow guys he caught her and he ended up getting a bravery medal for that and he took her up the street and um, Belle and I swam out and so I've got my girls the rest really doesn't matter um, we did lose everything in the shop but we've rebuilt and we're back so it's, it's all good it was phenomenal we had lots of teachers from the children's school the children go to Rangeville school and um, we had teachers come down and offer to help my mum and dad who own Big Dad's Pies on Enzac Avenue were teachers before they retired and dad had students come in and say you were such a great teacher we're here to help and they, they spent the whole day cleaning and mopping and shoveling mud um, the, the, there was just so many people we and our, of course all of our friends came down and helped us and we had um, people who are now regular customers bring us down casseroles which was good because by the end of the day we were exhausted and but it was really the community's help and, and encouragement that got us through and it's still we still have people coming in saying is there anything you need anything we can do so that's what we're about it's all it's all positive um, I think the most important part is that we're back, that we rebuilt and we did it with the support of the Tonga community, that we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for their encouragement and support. So I think that's the most important thing. And, and my girls survived. The rest, you know, losing the material things, it, it's, it's hard and it's frustrating and it took a long time to get back, but we did it. So I think all of that in a, in a little package.